is Johnsonville Bay Area Throwbacks, and today I have a game used Giants jersey. Um, it's actually um, authenticated as team issued, but it's team issued from a day, a game where he pitched in. Now, mind you, that doesn't mean he wore this one. They obviously have more than one jersey, so he could have been, this could have been the one from his locker, but it does show use. Um, it was sold, um, I bought it off Hunt Auction, which put it as game worn, so I don't know if they know more than I do, but it is listed as team issue, but um, I haven't been able to, or I haven't really tried to uh, photo match it much yet, but I will work on that. But it is at least team issued, but by the some of the use and washing on it, you could tell it's most likely was game used. And anyways, uh, that is former Giants pitcher Jack Tashner. He was a left-handed um, reliever for the Giants. He pitched six years in the majors, first four with the Giants. So he was from 2005 to 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 10. 2005 to 2010, he pitched in the major leagues. And again, 2005 to 2008 was with the Giants. This was a player, um, again, I probably am weird. Most people, I got all these, a lot of relief pitchers. One, it's cheap. It's, you can get their um, gamers and team issue jerseys, team issue jerseys cheaper. And two, I remember them. So, Again, I like jerseys from players that I was watching in my first few years of baseball. So when a relief pitcher pops up that I remember, I remember them. When I was a kid, I used to watch the games, play the games, the video games, uh, collect the cars, everything. So like I knew even the relief pitchers, you know what I mean? I knew the relief pitchers better when I was younger than I do the ones now on the Giants, to be honest. So anyways, the other reason when his came up wasn't just because me remembering him pitching for the Giants, but actually... Um, after the games when I was younger, I used to go um, to the back side of the stadium behind uh, left field where the players come out. And I actually uh, had a baseball autograph by him. Uh, I got one autograph by, by him and a few other players. I had a few different balls autographed. So I think this was one that I had autographed by a few guys. I got I think I got the Troy Hawkins on his when he was with the Giants. I know I got the Troy Hawkins. I don't know if it was on the same baseball, but I don't know where the baseball is. Some of my parents' house, I have a good amount of autographed baseballs. I don't know where they are. So I don't really go for autographs anymore as I'm older nowadays, but when I was younger, I, I couldn't wait to try to get some autographs. So anyway, this was someone I got when I was younger, so it was kind of that, you know, a sentimental purchase for my memory as a kid. So anyways, I'm talking a lot. Um, it still does have the tag on it. So this is from 2000. This is a game used. Oh, you know what it is. This is what it is. So it says here. Um, this is from the Giants dugout store or the Giants game use store, but uh, it shows it says game use jersey actually right there, player worn game use. So, who do you trust, them or the MLB? I don't know, but like I said, based off the day it's from, the washing on it, I'm saying this is game use. So, anyways, this has the tag on here. It was $300 when they sold it back in uh, 2008. So whenever they sold it that year and the next year or two years later, however long I hung around, I got it for cheaper than that. I'll just say that. So, um, again, nothing crazy to show. I've shown a bunch of these Giants jerseys. So this is a uh, uh, Majestic. You've got the Giants patch there on the, on the left sleeve. Uh, I saw someone show a close-up of the new Authentics, and the patch on the side looks trash, horrible. Yeah, of course, it's embarrassing what, you know, Fanatics, Nike, and all them are doing, but it is what it is. Uh, you got the dope 50-year patch of San Francisco, 50-year uh, San Francisco patch. So, obviously, the Giants been around in 2008 were longer than 50 years, but from their move to San Francisco in 1958. And this is 2008 50th year anniversary with the Golden Gate Bridge, that nice gold 50. There you go. Um, I mean, here we got that. Three colored giants across the chest. Black on orange on gold. There you go. No tag here because this is a, it was issued to the team. This isn't a retail. Retails, actually, I don't know. The later 2000s ones and on kind of, sometimes they wouldn't even have a tag here either, the retail athletics, but I don't know. Anyways, this isn't a retail athletic. It is not. So uh, let me see any tagging we got. Oh, we got our. We got our jock tag, size 50, 2008. Again, this has been, I'm pretty positive, been worn and washed a bunch of times, so 2008. And plus one to the sleeve. So he had the sleeve, extra inch added to the sleeve. So 
So there you go. Hopefully you can see that. There you go. There should be the tagging on the inside. Let's see. There we go. Also faded. You can't even really read what's on it because again, it is worn. It's been washed that many times. But you can see it is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0062. You will not be able to catch it probably, but on the bottom here, it's 0062. Signifying that this was issued to the team and not a retail authentic. You got your Batterman logo right there. <coughs> and then you got that 37. I like this number. It's different. You don't see that number, I think, much on Jersey. So there you go. Uh, there is some spots with a little bit of uh, thread pulls. So hopefully I could use those to photo match this. Now, what I, I like better as of recent years on the gamers and team issued is that I don't like this sticker there as someone who wears it. You know, if I was display, even if I'm displaying it, I don't really like it there. Like I like that later on, they started putting it on the jock tags. It doesn't bother me there. Kind of sucks uh, having it right there, but you know, it is what it is. So there's that 37, black over orange over gold. Uh, something else, I, oh, does this have the purchase? No, this one doesn't have that stamp. All right, so I'm gonna take this to the other room, get some closer shots and throw it on. Starting down here, you can see that 2008 plus one inch of the sleeve, size 50. I was faded because it's been washed a bunch of times. Here's the other tag. Hopefully, I don't know if you can see here. Um, 0062. You can barely see it. Anyways, let's go up. There's the lettering. No different than other ones I've shown if you've been around the channel. Got your collar right there. Let's go to the Giants patch on the left sleeve. Which looks way worse now on the jerseys because we got trash running the jerseys these days, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, there's Majestic. Bring Majestic back. Game used jersey, Giants dugout, player worn. 300 bucks, which is not what I paid. 2008. There you go. 50th year patch. Love this patch. This is my second jersey with this patch. I like it. It's a dope patch. I don't have one yet with the 60th anniversary. I do want to eventually get that because that patch is dope too. There you go. Then we got the back. Batterman logo. And the 37. There you go. There it is. If you want to pause that and look it up and see what you find. It's listed as team issued, but I don't know. It's game use for sure. If you look at everything else, <laughs> there you go. I'm gonna throw it on and then keep it moving. So here you go. Jersey is a little big, 50 with the extra inch. It's not, but it's something I can wear. And the other thing is uh, when I go to games, especially when I'm back home in the Bay and go to Giants games, it is chilly if it's a night game. So I can just throw the hoodie on under this and it'll fit great. So this is one of those I can wear with the hoodie or with that one. It is what it is, right? So. Um, this here it is, Gamey's 2008 Jack Tashner um, home Giants jersey. Um, I don't have a 2008 Giants hat, but uh, this is a 2002 to 2005 one. Again, some of you say it looks the same as everyone else, but there it is. So I might rock this one with you because it's the closest to 2008 that I got at least, right? So there you go. I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you're not already. And Baseball season is coming up, so I'm ready. Everyone have a good day. Peace.